Gen AI was the big thing that uh, um, that we talked about at Google um, on, at Next. So um, the thing that kind of aligns to what mm -hmm. you're saying here is that um, Google came up with uh, an AI data classification solution that is part of their Gemini for Google Workspace uh, offering. So you'll be able to use something that is called drive labels, which um, is giving a label to certain drive files that you have, uh, or all of them. Um, but you can now do that <laughs> while harnessing the strength of Gen AI. So that's, you know, that, that's really next level. If you want to go and you want to protect your data that's on Google Drive, this is absolutely next level. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, we were totally um, surprised actually that Google was able to hide uh, a, a brand new app that they're coming out with, which is called Google Vids. Yeah. Um, AI Google video generation specific file format that is only there for Google Workspace users. So um, very interesting to see um, what that's going to hold. Um, small note, it's going to roll out in the next uh, half of the year in the US. We're not going to be able to expect it soon in the Benelux, for instance, but it's coming, it's coming. Um, and then uh, anything that is Gemini for workspace, I mean, we've been <laughs> um, we've been enticed by Google by all the possibilities that it holds. And just to see those possibilities come to life one after the other, I mean, that's just cool. Since I came back from Next, um, I can take notes. It's in English at the moment, coming to Dutch uh, later on, but I can have notes taken for me in a meeting so I don't have to write down notes anymore, uh, assign action items for, for myself and everybody that's in a meeting. I mean just saves you a lot of time. Yeah. If you then combine all of that with what you can do um, for people that uh, are not the big uh, code writers or anything um, uh, that is related to that, I can just tell you myself, I've been experimenting with it and my colleagues as well, a gap that we normally have, which is I have a good idea, but you know, I, I'm not really used to writing code or you know, to put this into real uh, realizations. There's a bridge now, and which is done through Gemini. So I'm I'm super happy that that is uh, that that is materializing at the moment. It's a big time saver and uh, excellent functionality. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, maybe your time. It's nice to pick up from here, uh, given the fact that uh, Google Cloud Platform and Data and Gen AI, uh, a lot of uh, things going around uh, that topic. Mm -hmm. um, what can you say about that? Good question. Though. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, so of course it's no surprise that that, that data and, uh, and Google's data e ecosystem is one of one of the best in the business, right? And um, really to add, add, add on, on, what, on what Jonas mentioned, of course you you see all kinds of Gen AI integrations inside the Google Cloud Platform. Um, so during the, the the different sessions, of course, we we saw a number of different demos showcasing Gemini and all, all kinds of other inter in integrations. What for me really stand out were two new features. They're, they are, I think, still on in uh, in uh, preview, so they're, 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 they're not generally available yet. But one is continuous uh, continuous queries in BigQuery, which allows you to continuously query a table, right? So as soon as a new update comes in a table, automatically you you get the result. And then actually to add on that uh, with with two or three lines of SQL queries, you you, you, you can also write those deltas, so the, the the results of those queries, also to a pub subtopic. And the demo was really, 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 really about working with Gemini. I'd say, hey, Gemini, I want to have this, this, and this. And in a few seconds, it, it returned with like 20 to 30 lines of SQL code to do exactly this, right? You continuous queries, exporting to PubSub, and, and then actually um, uh, feeding this information from, from PubSub to your Gen AI model. Um, and that was, for me, what really stood out. So in, in a few minutes, having this, this uh, ETL uh, pipe, uh, pipeline available for you, that one was really insane. So no, no custom code, no custom pipelines, all done through BigQuery. Uh, and really can we cool. show that to some of our customers already? Or? Uh, yeah, so both of these features are available using private previews. Uh, so we, we, we will include a link to, uh, to the sign-up page for that in the video. Cool, cool. And then the final topic on uh, security. Uh, Jorge. I think what's really cool is that there's now the confidential compute uh, for AI. Uh, meaning that you can train your models, run your uh, large language models, uh, yeah, we confidence your compute, but actually also the CPUs that you attach, the NVIDIA, uh, those will also communicate in a secure way. I think that's pretty unique uh, for training your models, um, and you will keep the same speed as well. 
So that's actually pretty cool. Mm, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. And maybe the last one to wrap up is actually uh, Apigee. It's the uh, Google, uh, the API platform to secure and to monetize, for example, your APIs that you run is actually uh, the shadow API detector. So if you don't have all your APIs already protected and managed through Apigee, you can use this one to detect like which APIs do you still have within your company and which one you need to onboard and secure with Apigee. Really I cool. think that's uh, pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah.